Thank you, Tara. Yes, a gentleman, good morning. Please let us be seated. Director of our program this morning, it's a great pleasure and it is indeed an honor for me to be with you at this very auspicious occasion. I'm informed that this is a milestone for Team Namibia. I'm truly honored to officiate at this event this morning. We in government acknowledge the importance of supporting Team Namibia's mandate, which is to encourage Namibians to have a preference for local products, services, and the local des destinations. By keeping the Namibia dollar in this country, Namibians are not only supporting local jobs and our economy, but they are getting access to remarkable products, exceptional services, and unique destinations, none of which can be found anywhere else in the world. Namibians are therefore encouraged to take pride in what we have to offer as a country. We wish to all get into the habit of looking on our own doorsteps before opting to import products or international suppliers as purchasing local products or services will mean a better future for our people. Businesses, businesses must apply social justice and fair practice in order to create a fair mark, marketplace and create as many jobs as possible in our country. We in government encourage industry to trade fairly among their team Namibia partners who should co collectively represent Namibian trade. Equally, we welcome foreign investors to trade in Namibia, but require them to trade fairly along with local businesses. In the same vein, Namibian retailers are encouraged to stock local products in their stores, and we urge Team Namibia to make local products easily identifiable for consumers. Globally, it has been reported that managing a nation's reputation has become one of the primary skills of government in the 21st century. Therefore, I am excited that Team Namibia has play, planted a seed today towards a possible approach for developing a competitive identity for Namibia. Awareness of our offerings as a country can benefit us here in Namibia as well as the rest of Africa and abroad. A competitive identity will ensure that Namibia's fundamental human qualities, efforts, achievements, and ambitions are recognized, celebrated, and rewarded nationally and internationally. It will allow stakeholders to have a cohesive approach to communicate Namibia's identity effectively and unite government and business alike to attract international investors and tourists, thus increasing our competitiveness as a country. In addition, ladies and gentlemen, it will give us the opportunity to set an example to the rest of Africa. Allow me, ladies and gentlemen, to reflect on Vision 2030 within this context. Namibia's competitive identity can act as a vehicle to raise awareness of this vision by way of a council or a steering group consisting of leadership and management in government 
and in the private sector. Such a council could support Vision 2030 objectives in the following ways. One, a competitive identity will help citizens to keep in line with our constitution, help them to understand our history, thus generating national pride. This will lead to citizens' commitment to Namibia, to its people, to its economy, and indeed to its future. In turn, this behavior will have a positive effect on social and economic well-being and the good quality of living and address issues such as inequalities. Number two, education will form a fundamental part of our competitive identity and will partly be determined by the quality of education offered in Namibia and whether we can get it on a level that is globally competitive. Getting our youth to understand the importance of their national roots and the impact of their loyalty to the country will mean a better future for all of us. This can be achieved through awareness campaigns that appeal to our youth specifically. Number three, the support for Namibia products, services and destinations will lead to more jobs being created via an increased demand from Namibian consumers. This can be achieved through effective communication and increased awareness of our local offerings. Every job that is created results in one more Namibian with buying power. This creates one more consumer. That means one more person adding value to local infrastructure through value added tax and PSUN, leading to services improvement, living standards increasing, living standards increasing and inflation dropping. Number four, another big challenge in addressing the unemployment problem, particularly within the younger age groups, is to improve skills. More jobs will mean an influx of skills, trans or skills transfer leading to better in innovation in Namibia. To achieve this, we should reward and celebrate skills transfer and the innovation in our country and in our organizations. Number four is part of the process of developing Namibia's competitive competitive identity, we need to identify what is unique that we can, so to say, own credibly in the minds of potential investors and tourists. This will give us a competitive advantage in the export sector. Because of the relatively underdeveloped local supply chain, the Namibian multiplier for the various industries is relatively low compared to other countries. In this local chain, chain can be deepened, the multiply effect will improve exponentially, imports will be reduced, and the economic growth will accelerate. Number six, according to Vision 2030, the Namibian economy must attain growth of approximately 6% per annum to reach the goals of the vision. This translates into the manufacturing sector of Namibia having to achieve a growth rate of more than 70% annually to support this target. Manufacturing growth is instrumental for economic growth due to the high multiplier effect in the economy. The support of local suppliers will play an integral part in attaining this goal. Number seven, as we, as, we, as we will be discussed in today's meeting, a possible approach for managing Namibia's competitive identity could be via a steering group 
or council, as I said before. Such a council could form the perfect link between public and private sectors and originate both sectors to play their part in contributing to a common goal, which is sustainability in Namibia. And number eight, sustainability being the cornerstone of Vision 2030 is extended via the so-called Brand Council and Team Namibia's goal of being the collaborator for garnering local support that will have a positive impact on political, economic, social, technological factors in our country. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, I want to thank Team Namibia Board of Directors for their input in taking the first steps, step towards a new vision for <coughs> Team Namibia and Namibia as a whole. Many thanks to the Minister of Trade and Industry for supporting this budding organization. Today I want to encourage all Team Namibia members to set an example to the rest of Namibia by trading fairly and supporting Team Namibia's mandate of creating a preference for local products, services, and destination, and to work together as a team to actualize a sustainable Namibia. Ladies and gentlemen, Vision 2030 can be attained by the real participation and contribution of both the private and public sector, but also by commitment of all Namibians to this country. Thank you, board members, all Team Namibia member organizations, Team Namibia staff, and thank you all present here this morning. Thank you.